Hello guys, Michael here with a video about keto diet, carnival diets, and all those diets that doesn't contain carbohydrates or very little carbohydrates, LCHF and so on. Those diets will hurt you more than benefit you. And I say it again, it hurts you a lot more. This is a big myth that those methods are what actually going to make you slim, make you really, really uh, physically healthy because you're using ketosis instead of carbohydrates as an energy source, all right? But there's one thing that people don't understand, and I'm now going to talk about the deepest layer of human biology, all right? And that is hormonal balance, all right? There is a hormone called thyroid hormones containing active hormone T3 and inactive hormone T4, all right? I would say that those having balanced thyroid hormones in your body is probably the most fundamental thing you need to have in order to have great health. If you compromise those thyroid hormones, everything else will fall apart, all right? So many people that actually have thyroid problems, the problem they are linked with that many times is that the men's testosterone goes down, the insulin level is bad, and, and a lot of other serious health issues going bad just because your metabolism based on thyroid function is is bad because thyroid function is like the most basic thing and also the most important thing to have in order before you start thinking about other stuff regarding your health like testosterone level for example so let's get now back why all those keto diets carnivore diets and low carbon diets are bullshit is because your body need carbohydrates in order to have great metabolism, at least good metabolism. And what we have seen in scientific data in the area of endocrinology that are specializing in thyroid function is that if you eat less carbohydrates and don't have enough carbohydrates, the body will adapt and actually lower your metabolism. And many times your metabolism is getting lowered so much that they start producing not uh, start producing less T3 hormones, which is the active uh, thyroid hormone that regulates um, metabolism. They're going to decrease that quite significantly, making you slow and making you far away from being optimal in terms of general health. All right, and I don't understand why people don't talk about this. I don't understand why people don't use this as one of the main important issues when it comes to health in people. I mean, it's just ridiculous to think that you don't need carbohydrates and the body, your only, the only thing you do is just eating meat and then suddenly you will be very healthy because you are having less calories in your body, you don't have any, any, any kind of carbohydrates that trigger insulin and therefore you are healthy. That's absolutely bullshit. You need a balanced diet mostly mostly with carbohydrates the only thing i would say that is good with carbo like all those uh, low carbs diets or zero carb diets is that your intake of calories is limited because if you're not thinking about what you're eating you will almost immediately for vast majority of people out there have an excess of calories i mean you're just eating normal stuff and then suddenly you are 1500 plus in calorie balance, which means that those 1,500 calories is something the body just don't know what to do. So they're just making fat out of it most of the time. And also what we have seen is that when it comes to insulin resistance and insulin in general, it's not really a big deal if you eat within your calorie balance. Let's say that you are a man and you eat 2,200 calories per day. That is maybe a little bit of the lower end. But then it doesn't matter if you're going to eat sugar even, because the insulin spikes is not that severe. But the body can handle every single calorie you get into your body because you're eating within your, your calorie balance. As soon as you're eating over the calorie baron, balance, is now when the body just don't know what to do with it. And you get these huge insulin spikes and a lot of bad things happening in the body, inflammation also, because it, they just don't know what to do with the excess of calories, all right? But let's say now we're coming from the perspective that we are eating within the calorie balance. What is going to happen then? 
Well, sugar can be amazing for you. A lot of carbohydrates can be amazing for you. It's not bad. It's just a myth that it's bad. It's more about actually calorie in and calorie out. All right? But that is definitely important to, to understand that there's one aspect to it as well. It's like if you eating certain foods and then you keep your calorie balanced, but you're still hungry, you're still like craving for food, that gives some kind of an internal stress. So what you have to figure out is to keep within your calorie balance and eat stuff that make you full, that doesn't make you hungry. One of the worst things is that you're going to eat stuff that gives you 2,000 calories and you're not even, even full. You, you, you need to eat another 2,000 calories in order to be satisfied. That is a big no-no. So you need to learn how to actually eat within the calorie balance. But you need carbohydrates. You need it because you need your thyroid function to be optimal. Because that is the most fundamental part for human health, period. Anyone else that's saying differently are bullshitting. It doesn't matter if you're a doctor, a biologist or whatever. If you don't understand the thyroid function, then you know nothing about what you're talking about. You, I will not you know, discredit other stuff, but you are missing the most important fundamental part. So I want you that are listening to this to focus about one thing first, especially if you are struggling with your overweight and so on, is to check your thyroid hormones in your body, all right? You're doing it by taking a blood test of TSH, free T4, free T3, even total T3, TPO. You can see that, you know, there are lots of information on the internet how to check a full spectrum of your thyroid function. Make sure to check your thyroid function first before you even consider to, to do a lot of weird stuff. Because a lot of things can heal itself, can balance itself, as long as your thyroid function is healthy. I mean, if you had problem with testosterone, for example, and you start going in to try to, you know, go, go to TRT treatment or using HCG or whatever you're going to use, and you're going to use that based on a thyroid function that leading towards the lower end, meaning that you have not a f optimal thyroid function. You actually have a borderline low thyroid function. Then you shoot yourself in the foot. What the hell are you thinking about your testosterone when you have a borderline low um, a thyroid function? I will tell you a story. I have a, one of my best friends. He had been working with, uh, with his testosterone level a lot. He don't want to use TRT, but he's using HCG a lot because that in some way boosts his testosterone level. He has to use artificial things in order to boost the testosterone level. And I was thinking, and we are talking a lot about that. And he said, oh, he needs to train to, in a specific way, like heavy lifting and heat training in order to boost all those uh, testosterone things. And it, it worked, sort of, but it was not stable. And, he thought, and his testosterone level was, was terrible, always in the very low end. And if he stopped using ACG and he don't exercise regularly, he would be below the the means of, uh, below the reference range of, of having enough testosterone in the body. And then I told him that, but what about your thyroid function? Is that good or not? So what he did was to check his thyroid function and it was borderline low. His T4 and T3 was on the edge of being low in the reference scale that he's basically a sick person, thyroid wise thyroid wise and when I told him to start taking T4 only T4 inactive hormone so he have enough inactive hormone for the body itself to convert it from T4 to T3 and he now be using it for a while now he have a medium range of thyroid hormones both when it comes to free T4 and free T3 and what happened with his, his testosterone level he went from having the 25% lower scale of, of, of uh, testosterone to go up to the upper 25% of, of the... No, I think it was like 20... 70, he had a testosterone level of 72% of the reference range. Meaning that if you're in the absolute top of the reference range, you would have 100%. He was in 72%. Without exercising, without any kind of 
HCG or TRT, nothing. Just balance his thyroid function and the testosterone level went directly up to close to optimal levels just by fixing his thyroid problems from not good to normal basically. So what do you say about that? And my friend also, he went into this keto diet, he went into this many days fasting and all that kind of thing. And I believe that according to rigorously, uh, rigorous scientific studies, that actually lowering the T3 levels. Um, eating less carbohydrates will lower your T3. And that is exactly what happened with my friend. That is exactly what happened with, with all those people that actually stop eating carbs. All right? And this is not coming from me. It's coming from the leading uh, doctors and scientists in endocrinology specializing in thyroid function. It's coming from them. I'm just repeating what they are saying. All right? So think about it now. Before you even consider any kind of keto diet or carnival diet or similar, make sure that your thyroid function is working first. I hope you like this video. And uh, this is my first video now and make sure to subscribe and like this video because this is so important that the people out there actually know. Anyway guys, I will make another video about this later. So I'll see you in the next video.